old, new. How much did they change or how much did they stay the same? Hey everybody, it's Bishop here for Tactical POV and today I'm going to do a quick review because I finally got a new holster in from G-Code and I've been uh, waiting to get this for a while. I know I'm a little late to the party here but things move as fast as the money moves around here and it moves slow so it's going to take me a minute being self-financed. But anyway, before I get to it here and break down the difference between the last review that you saw on a, a, one of my earlier videos a while ago on the Eclipse and then showing you the new one here. Before we get started, make sure you run over, man. Hit the subscribe button for my channel so you can get notified. Make sure you hit that bell, too, and you'll get notified for new videos that I post. Also, make sure you sign up for my email list. That way you'll also get notified because small gun channels such as myself or, or bigger ones or whatever, uh, they get demonetized here on YouTube. So and that's no big deal because, I mean, like I said, the monetization really isn't paying me crap. I'd rather you guys run over and check out my store. You can look at the links in the description, and I'll leave it in for this one here. And I'll see if I can find a link for this one here. Uh, it might be available, might not. If I do give it, it, it might not be an affiliate for me because my affiliate links help uh, me and my channel here and, and my things that go on here with uh, Tactical POV. So it might be that, might not. Take it to the website, still check it out. I'm still a huge fan of this company. So don't forget to do that and let's get started. So as you see the difference between the two, this is the old Eclipse here. This is the new Phenom Stealth. Now, to break things down on just basic appearance alone here, of course, I have to go with the black and red because, as you know, that my EDC, my Glock 19 Gen 5, I did mod it out with black and red because those are my two favorite colors. Outside of black and yellow, go Steelers, except for this year. <laughs> That's, that's a whole nother conversation. I don't even want to get started on that one. But anyway, back to what I was talking about here. The difference between the two is that, as you can see from just basic appearance, you've still got the mojo clamp also for the arm here and the old style. So let's sit this over here to the side here and break this down real fast. Okay, this is the old belt clip style, double Phillips head screws. Also still has your adjustability here on the old one as before which is totally adjustable here with the Phillip head and it is custom fit okay single belt angled belt clip designed to add pressure against the body so it can help for concealment and to keep it snug and fit and not drift one thing that I cannot stand on a holster on an inner waistband holster is it drifting if it drifts from position to where I normally carry it carry sorry carry it and it starts to drift either way I carry appendix this is an appendix holster along with the other one but it is adjustable to where you can carry it strong side because I have carried this strong side too as well it's in the adjustment in the mojo clamp here so with the Phillips head here you unscrew these and there's six different positions you have three lower three upper right here underneath and you can adjust the cant for either strong side appendix or cross draw okay this is for right handed so as you see everything is it is a custom holster and it's the kydex the molded kydex is hardened which makes it durable extremely durable I've never had an issue with this I've carried it through the winter summer it's never moved as far as readjusting from heat or extreme cold it hasn't cracked and hasn't molded anything from like I said extreme heat from 85 90 95 degree days uh, here I've carried it so still no issue still a very very good holster okay now let's move this aside here and let's talk about the new hotness now this holster came out I believe early part of this year I think if I remember right I'm trying to remember when they released the date because I was hot on getting this thing and um, the the advancements that they made on this one here are pretty impressive now we're a real quick comparison this one here is a half guard this is a half body guard this is not a full body guard this one here is a full body guard 
here if i zoom out a little bit give me a second let me zoom this out so you guys can see what i'm talking about here get a better picture there this is a full bodyguard extension as you see as it slides in for the 19 this is all the way up protecting the slide against the body at all from moisture anything from sweat everything else in that cold slide or whatever so it's a full bodyguard protection as to the old and I haven't worn this I just got it the other day guys I haven't had a chance to wear it yet so as you see half bodyguard protection between the two so keep that in mind now they call this the Phenom Stealth the Phenom Stealth and I understand the designs that they've done to it they've trimmed this down very very well as far as the body shell to the firearm itself trim this down to alleviate extra bulk here from the old one and cut this out move this mojo this is no longer here for bulk and they put a mo claw this mo claw is designed to press against your carry belt and I give you an example Sit this one over here, and we'll talk about the clamp here in a sec. Now, as you see, the mole claw is designed to catch your belt, your carry belt here. And the reason for this is to press this snug. So when you zip, when you snug your belt up, it presses this back, carrying the butt of the firearm into the body. This will still keep it closed, still keep it close to the body, still designed it close. But that mo claw, that is what that's designed for, to press that in towards the body. And look, I'll show you a, uh, a shot of it as it pressed, as it's used, it's pressed in as design for that, which is actually pretty, pretty cool because the older one, as you see, pull this in, with the old design, it does not have that design. As you can see, even pulling it in snug, there's nothing to press this in to suck this butt of this firearm into the body a little closer for concealment, strict concealment. So, does not have that. That's the old design. And so this is actually pretty, pretty cool. Now, another thing that they've changed as well is, as I said, the Phillips head this is no longer a Phillips head. This is actually, I believe, a Torx head. If I can see, yep, and that's a Torx head screw. But it can be unscrewed and also change for strong side or cross draw as well. This is still an appendix size set up for you either noon or 1 o'clock, which is very, very perfect for me because I carry roughly, I roughly carry about my 1230. It's, it sits comfortable about my 1230 on me. 12:30, man. One, about 12:30. So this is pretty cool as well. I like this slim design, the cutouts for it. Now this is also cut out deep too, as you can see. And I'll put it up front. This is also cut out for an RMR. So if you do have an RMR, it is definitely cut out and gives you space for that as well. So if you have one, you can see you'll have plenty of clearance for that RMR. Doesn't interfere. Still has a high cutout for the high sights or tritium sights such as my Trigicon HD front sight that I have on this. You guys can see a, a video of the mods that I did on my 19. You'll see everything that I added to it and this thing, God, it shoots like a dream, man. I love shooting this. So, that is another design that, that's changed. Now what's really cool, it still has a tack fuzz on the outside such as the older versions as well, but what they did change was the older version no tack fuzz on the inside still hardened okay it's just a plain kydex itself on the phenom stealth it is tack fuzzed on the inside as well and if you can hear it audio wise as far as the holstering hear the noise it's a considerable amount of noise not just holstering but also on the draw now for the phenom with the tack fuzz on the inside, this is it's almost at a whisper. Still has the traditional G-code click lock, 
This is also adjustable for retention as well. There's your retention adjustment screw for it. This is for your mow claw, and this is also really nice because that mow claw is a dual. It is both screwed here, there, both sides. So the longer screw carries over plus retention. But listen to this thing, man, it's a whisper. On the draw, we holster, but special on that draw. And I haven't even adjusted this yet. Like I said, I just got it yesterday. That's beautiful. Feels smooth, nice and easy, still comfortable, still has, as I said, that tack fuzz to keep that grip. Man, this is on point. This is on point. Your cutout is slim, minimal, keeps it closed for concealment for less printing, so it doesn't print as much. This is a really, really, really nice holster, man. I've been waiting to get this for a while. So, yes, this is my new EDC holster. G-Codes Phenom Stealth. They have different ones too. They have the Phenom Speed, but I ordered the Stealth. I am all about concealment. I'm all about not trying to print as much. That's the ultimate goal is zero printing. So I know we all strive for that. Trying to find the best holster and the best setup for that. That's what we shoot for. So check this out, guys. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Old, new, definitely feeling the new without a doubt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Also, keep yourself posted here. You can check me out on my other links uh, as far as for Facebook, Instagram. You can see me post things up there as well. You'll see more of that there because I'm not really into posting a lot of stuff here for us picture-wise, you know, trying to stay up on YouTube. I'm trying to save it mainly for the video stuff. So, check it out. See what you think. Any other companies out there, guys, if you want me to do a review on a uh, holster if you feel that you've got a better holster or something or you want my honest opinion about it i will definitely give my honest opinion send it in contact me and uh i'll take a good look at it and run it through and tell you what i think so until then this is bishop tactical pov saying that we the people shall not be infringed